everybody knows Andrew NG. So when he releases a product or rather a GitHub repo on his LinkedIn, I think we should talk about it. So he's trying to nail a very interesting problem where given the number of LLMs that we have at this point in time, you have OpenAI, Anthropic, you have Azure, AWS, Google, Grok, Mistral, Hugging Face, Olama, Watson, probably NVIDIA has a bunch of them and I, don't, I can't even spell what this name is, which is Samba Nova. Now the point here is that when you work with LLM applications, and I keep talking about this problem, Right, whether you are doing AI agents, where do are you are doing a you know retrieval augmented generation or any kind of system using a potential backend, which is an LLM backend, I would say, and uh, most of them are provided like an API. You have some form of integration. The most popular of that is OpenAI. So most of us are used to the style of OpenAI key, and that's a very standard configuration that you will see in most libraries. So what he's trying to nail is a problem of having multiple LLMs behind the scene, but you still can use a unified and standardized interface. And that's the beauty of this. Why is this problem important? A very good old time tested technique. This saves you from vendor lock-in. So if you start to build a series of systems, if you start to build a, you know, software powered by Gen AI, which has an LLM tightly coupled to it, there are few disadvantages. Number one, I think I can name three or four. Let's see. Number one, I think in case the language model changes anything in their API or any parameter change, you are directly hit. There's no interface in between standardizing it. Number two, which is the most obvious is, well, you are vendor logged in, you cannot make a change. Prompts are also a lot of times not changeable. Number three, probably in my view, is one of the most difficult ones. Let's say that the model itself is deprecated. What do you then? And this can happen very fast because the rate at which an enterprise software is built and right now the current rate of LLM evolution, they are not at the same pace, meaning LLMs are coming faster than enterprise softwares are being built. So that's a problem. I think I named three. I can add security to the mix probably a little bit of faith, uh, more uh, nuanced control there. But there's another pattern which is evolving, which is called an AI gateway. It's like a bigger umbrella and capsulates this and all of that. I'll talk about that in the next video. So AI suit essentially standardizes all of that and uses either the HTTP or the SDK for making the calls to provider. It's a relatively simple library. You don't have a bunch of Things. it's not very old I think it was just released like few weeks back and then there are examples tests etc that you can see about how, how these things work for example you know if I, I'll open that and but I'll, I'll talk through this and but so yeah installation is pretty straightforward do a pip install uh, if you want to you know specific to anthropic you can do that or you can do just all setup you export open AI key or you export you know, this sort of key and put the key. Use the Python client like AI suit as AI and client is AI.client. Models, you can pass a bunch of models and role you can give. Now with this, you also get the ability to, you know, send the same prompt to two different LLMs, right? This is also pretty good. So it, it's just gonna call two simultaneous, you know, different communication calls to these LLMs. Let's see how does a notebook look like. So this is just setting an API key, creating some sort of a chat interface. So this is a conversational chat interface. We want to use the chat completion method, but with Croak. Chat completion is a very, very standard library with OpenAI. However, you can do that with Grok and you print the model response. And you can make a little more custom function. You can go and keep on detailing this idea further and further. And you can even confirm which model is using a different provider. Like for instance, who is the creator, who is the creator model is this. So the, for the first one was Meta, then it was Anthropic because we have passed it. And the second one is was OpenAI. Uh, so all of them are three different ones. And this is the beauty of it, right? You can try to have a single question being sent to a multiple LLM if you need to kind of do certain evaluations 
if you want to change based on use cases like certain use cases require very fast responses so i'll hit a smaller model i can dynamically adjust that i can just have a you know parameter called small underscore models or models underscore small and i'll only have small models there and i can pass through them in a single call like bunch of small models i get quick responses so this is looping through each model and the response for a specified section like write a short sentence explaining the origins of ai and it's just gonna keep through all of the different uh, models that we have listed around here like llama four five variants of the llama and uh, again querying different ai providers for a common question this is uh, mul uh, multiple ai models for a common question and this is different AI. okay it's, it's pretty much the same thing so you are hitting different providers previously you were just hitting the same provider it, it it does not matter as long as you can you know change things you should be able to change it and this can extend a lot of ideas and nuances around testing like you get a response you test it by another llm all of that can happen now this library is in very early days but the most important aspect is this if you have understood this problem then you should think about this can this problem be solved without the llm sorry without this library absolutely you can happily uh, live away with it but given that andrew ng has started this conversation uh, this was already in you know being discussed in a lot of circles uh, but then if andrew ng has made a library just makes a point of how important this problem is all right all right till next video this is akash verma signing off bye bye